Well, boys and girls, I have been missing you. I've not been here for two weeks. We went on vacation and had a really good time. And I always pray about what I'm going to talk to you up here about. And so I ask for God's guidance. And so we were sitting on one of the airplanes one of the, on one of the times we were flying. And I thought, this is the example I need to use today. And we were sitting on the airplane, and they said, before takeoff, and they said, all right, we need everybody to cut your cell phones, your iPads, and your computers off so that we can have commu good communication with the radio, with the tower at the airports. And then we would, we'd, we would go to land, they would say the same thing. Please cut your cell phones off. Please cut your iPads off. Please cut your laptops off so that we can hear and we can communicate. And I thought, wow, we're allowing our cell phones and our iPads and our uh, laptops to keep us from communicating with God so many times. And maybe we need a visible sign that says, please cut your laptop off, your cell phone off, so you can talk to God. Boys and girls, the little um, thing that I gave you this morning says that regardless of the hour, whatever you have to, to say, God has time to listen if you have time to pray. And so this morning, even in our Sunday school class, as Matt was teaching our adult lesson today, we heard about the communication and how important that is. And I got to thinking, you know, I bet God says a lot of times, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, <laughs> because God is trying to speak to us, boys and girls, and we're just so busy we're not listening. So, boys and girls, let's remember what they said at the airport. Let's cut off everything so that we can have that communication with God, which is so very important. Boys and girls, let's walk quietly up to Children's Church. 